Well, of course, we don't know what the brain will be like, but it will be, uh, from the point of view of today, it will be a brain complemented by a variety of devices, which we have been hearing about today, uh, that will allow us to have, for example, help with our memory from external devices uh, and will have complements for our actions so that we can have more complex actions uh, and uh, also uh, complemented by devices that will increase our perception of the world around us. It's quite possible. I mean, we develop new feelings all the time in relation to different situations, to different people, different objects. Um, so it's quite possible that we will develop new classes of feeling in relation, for example, to the devices that complement our perception, for example, or that augment our motor power. Well, if we understand the different operations of different systems in the brain, we have a pretty good chance of understanding uh, about our physiology of feeling and about consciousness as well. But that requires having a good conception of nervous systems, that requires very good knowledge of anatomy and physiology, um, and uh, it requires, quite importantly, strong theory. You need to have valid theories about how the brain is likely to work and have the possibility of experimenting so that we can get results that will inform our investigations.